Hi guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. Well, it's dinner time for me again and I'm hungry and I have to make something to eat. And I know many of you have been asking me, am I going to continue making pasta dishes? And to tell you the truth, yeah I am and I'll tell you why. If you came over to my house here, you'd figure out that I've got like about 150 pounds worth of pasta sitting around here that I buy and that people give to me all the time and I just have to do something with it. So I make some of the best Italian recipes I know how to make, things that I learned from my own experience and things that I learned from Mr. Millet at Stromboli's like I've told you in the past. So tonight I'm gonna to make a rather simple country style Italian dish and it's called pasta fettuccine con spinaci, basilico, rosmarino e timo. And that stands for fettuccine pasta with spinach, basil, rosemary and thyme. It's a simple, fragrant, aroma dish. Just delicious. No red sauce, no white sauce, no cream, no butter, nothing super heavy fine dining. Just a lovely, rustic pasta and vegetable dish. You could put a little bit of cheese on and some other optional ingredients on it if you want. And as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes. So let's get to work and I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, first order of business, naturally, make the pasta. I'm using fettuccine. I'm going to put it in the water. I'm going to let it cook until it's al dente. I'm going to drain it and I'm going to put it right back in this pot with a little bit of olive oil on it to keep it from sticking. I love copper bottom pots because they'll keep the spaghetti warm for a good long time. So this is going to take about eight minutes and then we'll be back and we'll, we'll make the fixings. See you in a little bit. Okay guys, next order of business garlic you want to get that in there you want to get that new oil you want it to release its flavor into the oil you want it to brown a little bit I have it on a high heat I'll end up reducing that heat to a medium as it browns. I'm also going to just put a little touch of pepperoncino in there. Just a little pinch. Well, oh, here we go. Smell sense is going on overload. Alright, we're going to let that brown. Okay, the garlic is brown to where I like it. Take a little pinch. This is Italian sea salt. I just throw a little of that in the bottom of the pan, swirl that brown garlic around, and here's the vegetables. Fresh spinach and basil. It looks like a lot, but believe me, it's not, because it's going to reduce in size. All right. I'll just move that around a little bit. See, it's starting to wilt already. All right. Into that. Gonna add a little bit of chicken stock. Gonna reduce the heat to medium. Let this wilt and I'll be right back. Okay, it's wilted to the point where I want it. And I'm using dried rosemary and dried thyme. For this recipe, it adds a much more pungent flavor. Now you see I have the vegetables in a ring. And there's a reason for that. There's the rosemary. Oh, God, it's starting to smell good in here. All right, there's the rosemary. There's a reason I have the vegetables in a ring. Okay. Another little touch of the pepperoncino. A little touch of salt, just a little touch. 
And the reason I have the vegetables in a room is because I'm going to be placing the pasta dead center in the pan. And there's a reason for this. It makes getting the vegetables on it, into it, mixed with it, that much easier. All right, there's the fettuccine. When I put the fettuccine, when I put the fettuccine in the pot with the olive oil, I made sure to save about a ladle full of the starch water. Okay. Now I turn the heat up a little bit, and I mix this around. Oh. The smell of the rosemary, the thyme, the garlic. All right. Yeah, there we go. I want to get the vegetables in there, see? Take them off the side and work the vegetables into the pasta. Sometimes, when this is done, it ends up on the outside, not getting mixed in. All right, bring it to a boil. A little more rosemary. A little more thyme. There we go. And the pasta was al dente. Actually a little, little harder than al dente because now I add the rest of the chicken stock. Bring the heat up, bring it to a boil. Let the pasta absorb it, heat up the spices. Build the layers a little bit, a little touch of salt. Another little touch of peppercino, not too much. I'm gonna let this cook for about two minutes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, there you can see most of the chicken stock has been absorbed into the pasta. The steaming effect softens the dry rosemary and softens the dry thyme and it allows it to release its oils and its flavors and I'm going to turn the heat off right here just like that and I'm going to let the bubbling stop and I'm going to let it stand for about a minute and then I'm going to plate it and then I'm going to add something to the top of it. Hang on tight, I'll be right back. Okay guys, here it is plated and we're just going to decorate a little bit. Just going to put a little extra touch pepperoncino because many of you that know me know I love the heat. And then we'll spread a little around the edges. For those of us that like the heat. Okay, there we go. And to that, we're going to add my favorite Italian cheese. Gorgonzola. We're not going to bury the dish in Gorgonzola because we don't want to overpower the taste of the savory ingredients. The basil, the rosemary, the thyme, the garlic, and the pepper. So I just put just enough Gorgonzola on here to impart the taste of the cheese, give it a little contrast, Adds another layer. And there you have it. There you have it. My dinner. Pasta fettuccine con spinaci, basilico, rosmarino e timo. Fettuccine pasta with spinach, basil, rosemary and thyme. A rustic country Italian dish from my kitchen to yours. I hope you try this recipe. I know you'll really enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao.